Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to talk about how to clone, share, and build templates inside of your ClickFunnels account. First place you want to start is inside of the editor. You can go to any element you want in the editor and just click on clone. It will clone the element right there, and of course you can then right away delete it back out if you don't need it. You can also clone your rows, and again we'll delete that back out. And you can do the same with sections, and we'll delete that right back out. Now if you come up to the ribbon at the top, you can also do the same thing up here. You can click on manage, you can come across to any section, and you can click on clone. It will clone it for you, and you can also then delete it straight away out of here. Same thing with rows. Click on manage, click on the row to duplicate it, and then we will just delete that as well. And the same thing, of course, with elements. We can do that in here as well. And we'll delete it back out. You cannot clone columns though. Now let's back out of here and we're going to go back to the funnel steps page because here you can clone any one of your funnel steps you would like. You just come down to here and you clone the funnel step. And when the step is cloned, it will not automatically be put into your funnel. It'll be down here in the bottom under other funnel steps. You can click on that. You can see it down here at the bottom. If you want it to show up up here in your funnel steps, you have to click on add to funnel. And now it's one of the funnel steps. And of course, if you want to remove that, we just click on delete funnel step. And one last cloning action, you can go into settings and you can clone the entire funnel. Now this will create a copy of your funnel inside of your ClickFunnels account. So we'll click on clone the funnel and you'll see this page here that says it's being processed. And when it's done, you can click on view the funnel and you will see up here in the name, we'll click on settings. It will say copy of whatever the name of the old funnel was. That way you won't confuse it of course with your existing funnel. And here it is, copy of XYZ ABC. Now inside of ClickFunnels, you can also create templates. So let's go back into our page editor. And let's say you wanted to create a template of this section at the top and use that inside of other funnels. So what we do is we just come over to the right and we click on save. And this will pop up this. We're gonna just type in, let's just say test XYZ section. And we'll click on save as a personal template. Now we can go into another funnel at this point, and if we want to add that template to this page, we click on Sections, Add Section, come over to the right where it says My Sections, and we have our template right here. Let's just pull it down and just drop it onto the page. And there it is now on our page. Must have had a transparent background on it. So we can change that if we want. Let's just say we wanted a white background, so we'll just easily come in, change that background to white. Now you can, of course, do the exact same thing with your sections as well. Just come into your section, click on Save, put in the same thing. We're gonna do test X, Y, Z. We're gonna call this one row now this time. We're gonna save as a personal template. So now we'll come back into our other funnel and we'll go up to rows and add row. And we're going to click on my rows. And it did populate, so let's drag this down in and let's just put it right up here. There we go. Now we just have a template for our section and our row that we moved into another funnel. Now let's go back into the editor one more time. And you can also create templates of the entire page. We'll go to Settings and General. We'll click on Save Page as Template. We'll type in our name and we will click on Create Template. It will now store this template into your Account Details page under your Personal Page Templates. And once we refresh the page when it's done saving, that template should show up on this page. And there is our new template. So now let's say we want to use this template to build a new funnel step. So let's go into this funnel that we have open. Let's back out of this and let's say we want to add a new step. So we'll click on add new step and we're going to give this a name. So we're going to just call this test XYZ. 
And because the original funnel step type was opt-in, this will create it as a new opt-in template. And here it is right at the top under our opt-in. Now you could scroll through this entire list and try to find your template if it was hiding in there somewhere, or you can just click on this and show only my templates. And then we will click on it and select this template. And now we have a new funnel step, which is an exact duplicate of the one we had in the other funnel. Now the last and final thing you can do is you can share funnels. And sharing funnels are very simple. You can come in here and click on share funnel and it'll give you a link that you can use to share or you can grab the link from down here. And why you would want to use this is if you give somebody else a share funnel and they open it up in their account, if they're not already a ClickFunnels user, they'll get signed up to the 14 day free trial and you will get credit for that sign up and you will get a 40% commission on any money that they pay for ClickFunnels going forward. So we'll just copy this and we will open up a new tab and we will put that in there and it will look exactly the same as what we saw earlier when we were cloning the funnel. So that's it for now. That was a real quick breakdown on how you can clone, share, and build templates inside of ClickFunnels. If you have any questions, please reach out to ClickFunnels support. Have a great day.